Hi there, it's Andre from Conveyor Randomness here, and today I'll be looking at the iPhone 3G from 2009 and comparing it to the iPhone 11 from 2019. In anticipation of the new iPhone 12, I'll be looking at Apple's second iPhone, the iPhone 3G, and comparing it to Apple's non-Max but mainstream phone, the iPhone 11. If you want in-depth analysis of the iPhone 3G, go check out my Time to Reminisce video on, on the phone. I'll link it up here. Let's take a look at the boxes first. The obvious difference is that as time has gone on and across the board, phones have got bigger and therefore so have the boxes. Apple have gone from a black box to a white box and the picture of the phone has gone from front facing to back facing. I think I prefer the front facing version, but I understand why it's not there as for every model you'll have the same picture on the front every year as the aesthetics of iOS is, although much improved, still basically the same. With the rumors that Apple may not be including a charger or earphones in the box, the 3G came with a stereo headset, 30 pin connector to USB cable and a USB power adapter. Now comparing that to the 11, which is essentially the same, just upgraded items like the earpods, lightning to USB cable and a USB power adapter. In 2012, and with the launch of the iPhone 5, Apple upgraded the 30 pin connector to the current 8 pin lightning connector, which conveniently allowed the user to be able to insert the cable face up or face down, and still continues to do so today. Looking at the sizes of both phones, the 3G is obviously smaller in every aspect except thickness. It's hard to believe that I was once happy and content with a phone so small with a 3.5 inch screen compared to the 6.1 inch screen of the 11. But what is better and more apparent in the newer phones across the board, across many manufacturers, is that the screen to body ratio is vastly improved. The 3G has a 50.9% screen to body ratio compared to the 79% of the iPhone 11 and the 88% of the Samsung Galaxy S20. Storage wise, the 3G had 8 gigabytes of storage. It was also available in a 16 gigabyte version. This 11 has 64 gigabytes of storage, also available in 128 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes. And it also has four gigabytes of RAM. Both of these phones and across the iPhone range are non-expandable. Hopefully that's something that Apple does address in the future. I'm struggling to deal with the 64 gigabytes of storage on my iPhone 11. How? did I manage to cope with eight gigabytes? Over time, technology improves. Improvements were made in the Gorilla Glass that both have, an IP68A rating which allows the 11 resistance to dust and water of up to two meters, which wasn't present in the 3G. Better security, adding face ID as well as the pin, and better battery, which means better torque and standby time and better performance over time. One of the main improvements of the phone, hidden in plain sight, is the chipset. The 3G was powered by a Samsung processor, while now, since the iPhone 4, Apple have been producing their own chipsets, and the iPhone 11 is powered by the A13 Bionic chip, which offers greater efficiency and performance, while at the same time producing lower power consumption, which means at the end of the day, your phone is lasting much longer. One big often talked about omission is the removal of the 3.5 millimeter jack. It's present on the 3G, but missing on the 11, which can be a bit frustrating, but as the removal of the 3.5 millimeter jack is across the board, it's not really such a big issue anymore. Next, onto another one of those great technology advances, the camera. Back in 2008, the iPhone 3G had just one 2 megapixel rear camera without the essential features that we take for granted now on our phones such as zoom, flash, autofocus and a native video recording function. In comparison, the iPhone 11 has two 12 megapixel rear cameras, a wide and ultra wide angle cameras and on the front a 12 megapixel true depth camera. Now I went out in the garden took some photos with both the 11 and the 3G to show you a comparison of the two. I'll put the 3G one on this side and the 11 on this side. And as you can see, there's a clear difference between the photos on the 11 compared to the photos on the 3G. And you can really see those advances in technology. Plus, as I mentioned before, the 11 has a selfie camera as well. So 
there it is, a quick look between the iPhone 3G and 11. It makes me excited just to think how nostalgic it was. You know, I was excited when I got this phone back in 2009. And if I just compare where we've got to now with the iPhone 11, I remember when I first got the phone, I was combining an all-in-one product for my iPod and my phone, which I'd have in separate pockets. And now I was able to have it in this all-in-one all product, you know, with the iPhone 3G. But even over those, the last decade, how great the technology has become, it just makes, doesn't it make you excited to, you know, what the future is going to bring? What's going to happen in another 10 years time when we're probably comparing the iPhone 11, seen as a relic, to the iPhone 25 or whatever they're going to call it in 10 years time if you enjoyed this video give it a like and if you're new to the channel uh, why don't you subscribe that would be greatly appreciated and press the bell icon to get notified every time i release a new video that's all for me today i'll see you on the next one bye did you like that last video why not watch another video like one of these two here and even subscribe to the channel down there as well see you later bye